everyone welcome back to my channel and to another video so as you can tell by the title of today's video today i'm going to be sharing my recipe on how i make my homemade pizzas so a couple of you actually asked me if i can cook a 12 inch pizza in my air fry oven and at the time i didn't have an answer because i hadn't tried it but now that i have i can confirm that yes this high sepientia air fry oven behind me, it is able to cook a 12 inch pizza in there. So in this video, I'm actually going to be cooking two separate pizzas, different sizes, different shapes, just to give you a better idea. As always, I will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements in the description below. So if you do want to follow along, just head on over there. But I do want to mention that I made a very thick crust pizza. That's just what I fancied. But if you want a thin crust pizza, then you will need to adjust your flour and yogurt because I will be making my two ingredient dough in this recipe. So just use a little less, maybe half it if you're just making the one pizza um, and it should be fine. So I'm not going to babble on too long. I'm gonna get straight into today's video and I'll see you at the end. So let's start by making up our pizza dough. So I am adding some self-raising flour into a large bowl. And then I am going to add in some Greek yogurt. And then I am just going to mix these two ingredients together and this will form into a dough. Um, once I was doing this for about five minutes, I actually realized that my dough was pretty dry. So I did go ahead and add in just a little bit more yogurt to make it nice and smooth and make sure that it comes together really well. So this is what it was looking like so at this point you just want to cover with some cling film and set this aside until we need it so i'm going to move on to my chicken so i've got some chicken breasts here that i've cut into very small pieces and we're going to season so i was stuck between these two so either chicken tikka or tandoori masala but in the end i went with tandoori masala only because it's not as spicy as the chicken tikka and my kids will be eating this as well so i went with this but chicken tikka is actually so so nice um, um, on pizza so you can choose whichever one that you prefer now I'm just going to mix that all up make sure the chicken is well coated and then we are going to add this to a hot pan which I have just sprayed with some sunflower oil spray so add in your chicken cook for around 10 minutes or so until it's completely done So my chicken is now fully cooked through, so I'm going to turn the heat off and set this aside. Now in the meantime, I am going to prepare some of the toppings I will be using. So I usually use bell peppers. I didn't have any, so I'm going to be using these little sweet peppers. So I'm going to chop those up nice and small. Then I'm also going to cut up some mushrooms. Then I'm also going to cut up a red onion and some other toppings I'll be using is some sweet corn and some spicy jalapenos. So now I have grabbed my dough which has been resting for around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to flour my surface and then I'm going to pop the dough on there and just massage it for around five minutes just so that it becomes a little bit smoother. So as you can see this dough is looking beautiful now so because I am actually making two large pizzas out of this dough I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to work on one of the halves to start with. So for pizza number one, I'm actually going to make um, a 12 inch circle pizza. So I'm just going to grab my rolling pin and start rolling this out. At the start of this video, I did mention that I made a thick crust. You can make a thin crust if you like. You just either roll it out more or you can make two pizzas out of this piece of dough. Make sure you add more flour to your surface if you find that your dough is becoming a little bit sticky. So because this is going to be a 12 inch pizza, I actually have um, like a pizza tray and mesh one, which is a little larger than 12 inches. So I'm going to be using this as a guide for how big this pizza should be. So this is what I'm talking about. And I'm just going to make sure that the pizza is roughly the size of this. 
Now I'm actually going to bake this pizza on this little pizza tray. So I'm just going to stretch out the edges like so, just to make it fit a little bit better. Now I am just taking a fork and I'm just going to put some holes in the bottom of the pizza base just so that it can cook nice and evenly and then I am going to pop directly into my air fry oven on the middle shelf and I'm going to be using one of the preset functions, it's the bread preset function um, so it's going to cook for 5 minutes on 230 degrees celsius. So in the meantime, I am working on the second half of my dough. So this one's going to be for my children and I thought I would change up the shape and size of this just to give you a better idea of what kind of pizzas you can make in here. So I'm going to be using this tray that comes with the oven. I've sprayed it with a little bit of oil. I'm just going to pop the dough in there and then using my hands, I'm just going to stretch out the corners to make it fit. And now doing the same thing with this one, I'm just going to put some holes in the bottom and by this point the first base was done so I just switched them, put this one in and took the other one out. So here is the one that has already been in there and now I'm going to start topping the pizza. So I'm starting with some tomato puree. I always use this, it works absolutely fine. Um, I barely ever use any pizza sauce so I'm just going to spread that out evenly and then I am going to add some grated mozzarella. Then I'm going to start adding some of the toppings. So I've got the red onion going on first. Then I'm going to add on some mushrooms. Then I'm going to add our peppers. Next up I am adding on some sweet corn and then I'm just going to make sure that everything is evenly spread out on the pizza dough and then I'm going to go on with a generous amount of that chicken. Um, this is a fully loaded pizza. Again you can change up the toppings for anything that you prefer. Anyway so now I'm going to add on some jalapeno peppers and then I am going to top generously with some grated mozzarella. I've mentioned this so many times before, I absolutely love cheese, so you can never have enough. And to top it off, I'm going to add some fresh mozzarella. So I'm going to add that on as well. And then we're just going to add on some seasoning. So I've actually got some pizza seasoning. This one that I'm using, I get it in Aldi and it's just a mixture of dry herbs. It's got oregano, basil, it's got chili flakes in there and a few other ingredients. So I'm going to add that on generously and then this pizza is ready to go into the air fryer oven. So I'm popping this in the middle shelf and I am going to choose the pizza option for this one but I'm just going to increase the time because the preset function time is set at 7 minutes which isn't enough for all the toppings that I've added so I'm going to change that to 10 minutes to start with and then I will come back and adjust it. Now moving on to pizza number two, we're starting with the same process, I've got some tomato puree um, and then I'm going to add on some grated mozzarella. So as I mentioned this pizza is for my girls and I decided to do in half and half pizza because sometimes they can be really fussy with what's on their pizza so I thought this is my safest option. So one side I've got chicken and sweet corn and the other side is just a margarita style pizza. Um, so I'm just going to top with some more cheese and then I'm also going to add some of that pizza seasoning to their pizza and then I also added a little bit of oregano to this one. So this pizza is also ready to go in so I'm just going to pop it on the bottom shelf but five minutes later I did come back and switch them around and I increased the time by another 10 minutes. Um, so here is both pizzas done now so let me just give you a closer look at this one. So this is the half and half pizza and it just looks beautiful and then this is the fully loaded pizza. How good does that look? 
So I am just going to take my pizza cutter and cut into this beautiful pizza and then I will give you a closer look at what it looks like. So the crust was cooked perfectly, it is a lovely thick crust pizza with all of my favourite toppings. Just look at how good that looks, honestly it tasted delicious. And then we'll move on to the second pizza, the half and half for my kiddos. Um, again, I'm just going to slice this up, then I'm going to give you a closer look at both of the um, pizzas. So here is the margarita style pizza, lovely cheese pizza. Honestly, cheese pizza is sometimes one of the best ones. Um, and look at the underneath of that crust. It honestly cooked beautifully in this air fry oven. And here is the chicken and sweet corn one. So that's how I make my pizzas in my air fryer oven. So easy, so simple and delicious. And the dough is just so, so simple to make. There's none of that waiting for it to proof and adding in all the excess ingredients. Honestly, this two ingredient dough is so easy, so simple and so versatile. You can use it for so many different recipes. So I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. So there it is guys, that is how I make my homemade pizzas. Of course I change the ingredients and the toppings every now and again. I like to make different variations of pizza. These two were just some of the ones that I do make, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you followed along with this recipe. Let me know what else you'd like to see from me in the future and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys, bye!